Hey, what's going on there guys? It is Earthmaster here. September 3rd, 2017, about uh, 7.43 p.m. here in California. Been a pretty active day in Idaho once again. Quite a few earthquakes or aftershocks, so to speak, um, have been occurring. And I did have a little bit of buffer, actually an all day long buffer on the Yellowstone webcam up there. And it looks like it might be doing it again. I'll have to go back and uh, figure out why it's doing that, but uh, it's kind of bugging me. Anyway, getting back to the earthquake activity, quite a bit of activity as you can see here on the globe, uh, earthquake 3D globe, uh, showing right around the uh, southeastern Idaho region. I'll take you over here and I'm going to show you quite a few things here. Uh, I was looking up a uh, history about Idaho's volcanic past um, and it gets pretty interesting. I don't think this is uh, volcanic in nature but Idaho do, did have some super volcano, super volcanic activity um, which would I think shrink Yellowstone's activity in its past. So I'll cover that here in just a little bit but I wanted to show you guys the uh, amount of activity that's occurring there in the state of Idaho following that 5.3 earthquake quite a bit there guys I'll come back to this here in a minute so right now as of today 65 earthquakes have occurred within this general area in in uh, Idaho southeast of Idaho Falls uh, east of Pocatello Idaho right around a little town called Soda Springs, Idaho. I don't think I've ever been there. But uh, there's Soda Springs over here and the swarm of activity occurring in this general region. And not, not in one specific area either. Uh, basically just well, spread out about, uh, according to the scale, spread out about 10 or 15 miles. So there's a little place over there called the Snake River Plain, I believe, uh, that had a pretty explosive past. Very similar, if not more, than uh, more eruptive than Yellowstone's explosive past. Uh, did a little digging around and found some interesting history in regards to the activity uh, in the past there in the state of Idaho. Pretty crazy. There's a couple different sites I was looking at. Um, I made, I'll, I'll send a link in the comment section below or the uh, description below box if you guys want to check this out. Um, Also checked it up on Wikipedia just to confirm it, just in case some of these sites here are uh, bogus wannabe sites. But yeah, the Snake River Plain Yellowstone Hotspot. It's very interesting here how it evolved over the past. Let's see if I can find the article in regards to. Uh, Let's check this one out right here. Super volcanoes in Idaho more powerful than Yellowstone. That's what I was telling you about there. This article is from over a year ago. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but uh, Snake River Plain was a hotbed of volcano, volcano activity as North America shifted southwestward. As the continent drifted, the Earth's crust was pulled apart, forming a large depression which became the Snake River Plain uh, in, what is, in what is now Idaho. So, uh, As recently as a million years ago, the area was struck by super volcanic eruptions there. Pretty crazy. Pretty large. Um, so that whole area is very volcanic in nature. Um, you know, you got the edge of the old North American Craton and the 
current North American plate all within that area kind of grinding up forming uh, some interesting mountains and stuff over there but this article here is too long to go on and read but I will send a uh, a link to the uh, website there but do I think this is volcanic in nature I do not believe so like I say there's a lot of activity occurring but we haven't seen anything bigger than the 5.3 earthquake that struck yesterday in Idaho now if we started seeing multiple fives and an increase in magnitudes then we might want to be looking at uh, what's going on there below the surface at about five kilometer kilometers there's that 5.3 right here that occurred yesterday and since then just a massive amount of aftershock so to speak once again largest being a 4.5 that struck earlier today just a little bit ago actually few hours ago that one is, was at a depth of 7.1 kilometers like I say you got Yellowstone up here as far as Lake Yellowstone goes but uh, it pretty much begins up around this area around the caldera region I don't know if you can see it on here in this map but uh, it's a little ways away you know over a hundred miles away but all this area here has seen some explosive eruptions in the past very violent um, but that you know it occurred millions and I think a million years ago was when the last one was but I'll have to double check on that but yeah if you got some time read this article here on Wikipedia um, also include a link on that as well far as California activity goes not a whole lot to report here just in general uh, general earthquakes there at the geysers in Northern California which is very uh, typical quite a bit of activity there geothermal hotspot rest of the world well I mean Idaho is standing out like like a sore thumb you still got the 6.3 hydrogen bomb explosion uh, in North Korea a deep earthquake right there near the Fiji Islands. Let's see here exactly when this one occurred. I always like to watch out, watch, you know, and, and uh, observe these deep earthquakes there. This one occurred, um, yeah, just today, 527 kilom kilometers uh, below the surface. That's pretty deep, 4.5 there near Fiji Islands region. I do have uh, some seismographs pulled up near the current earthquake activity in Idaho, which is this station right here, Cedar Butte, Idaho, very close to the 5.3 that occurred yesterday near Soda Springs, Idaho. So if you're curious about the data that's coming into this region, into that region, you're going to check out this station right here. And it looks like there's a little earthquake popping in there as well. If it's a fairly good sized earthquake, it's going to show up in other distant stations. Uh, first hitting Yellowstone region and possibly other stations a ways away from the uh, this station right here, depending on how large it is. But that's the main one to watch for right now, guys. Yeah, this is just a little map here of the. Uh, you got the Yellowstone Plateau, plateau, plateau up here in the uh, Island Park Caldera. There's just a lot of activity. You got the Snake River down here. A lot of, a lot of stuff happening in the past. Probably be a scary place to uh, be living with all that activity going on back then. I don't think anybody would be able to survive that. 
anyway, I just want to do a quick update on what's going on out there in Idaho. Um, like I say, I really don't think this is volcanic in nature at all. Just a lot of pressure uh, still being applied on the North American plate. I haven't checked the, let's see here, Pacific Northwest slow slip events yet, um, which I'm checking right now. I know you don't see it on the screen. I'll go ahead and take you back over here real quick and show you guys. A little bit, a little bit of activity. Not a lot, but this time in Southern Oregon. Uh, 1.8 hours, 31 epicenters. Like I say, we either see it down here in Southern Oregon, Northern California, and then occasionally up here northwest of Seattle, the slow slip event tremor movement which is uh, basically uh, the subduction zone monitoring of, of, of movement so to speak not you know not earthquakes but slow slip events one plate sliding underneath the other at a very slow rate producing different harmonic uh, frequencies that these instruments pick up so a little bit of activity not a lot though today So we'll keep an eye on that for sure. I did add another moderator onto the live stream uh, chat room chat feature by um, request. And I know they've helped out quite a bit on this channel. So Taco Bell will be a new mod here in the channel. So I appreciate their help as always. And I appreciate all the other mods help keeping up with the channel and uh, keeping up with the earthquake updates. I know it's a definitely tough job, especially when it does get busy. So once again, thank you guys and girls, guys and girls for all your help and thanks for the uh, new subscribers and whatnot for checking in. I'm gonna jump off here for a little bit. Like I said, I had to work on a Sunday. Great day to work out in the heat. 106 degrees, I think, today. So gradually heading down a road of cooler weather here in California this week so I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to jump off here and fix that Yellowstone stream here real quick and uh, actually it looked like it fixed itself. So you guys have a good night. Okay.